friends, welcome back to the shop. If this is your first time here, I'm Dana. I'm Art. And today's episode is something kind of special. We are finally getting around to adding some different modifications to our 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe. So today's install is the aftermarket trailer hitch. So what did we spend on this exactly? I don't know. You did all the bidding. <laughs> <laughs> what was the damage this time? Uh, I believe I spent about 200 some odd dollars under 250 when all was said and done off Amazon. We'll post the links in the summary here. And um, this is a Kurt aftermarket class three trailer hitch. And we got some special accessories to go along with it. It came with all of the mounting hardware, but it did not come with the receiver or ball. And we had to order the wiring harness separately, which um, again is Kurt. It's just gonna be easy plug and play. Or yeah. so is promised. So is promised. And this one is actually a little bit different than your Forester mm -hmm. because the uh, the plug that this harness actually goes into is not inside the trunk or boot area. It's actually underneath. So it will make it somewhat easier, but it also kind of gives me a little bit concern on where the location is and the protection of it. So I, I may try to see if we can actually do an additional mod that I have not told you about. <laughs> to try to alleviate that concern while we have this plugged in. But uh, very happy with this receiver, or not the receiver, but this hitch, mm -hmm. the quality of it, and based on your purchase, I mean, we know we got it from Amazon, but the other sites that sell this were significantly higher cost-wise. Um, so I did a little bit of shopping around. I knew exactly what model receiver that I wanted to get. I knew that I wanted to go with aftermarket instead of Hyundai brand because of the cost difference. So once I established that I was going with Kurt, it was really super easy, just a quick internet search. And I found out that Amazon genuinely had the best price for us. Yep. So this should be pretty straightforward. We're going to show where these actually bolt up, mm -hmm. where the harness plugs in, and hopefully Get it done pretty quickly. I certainly hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. All right, this is where the harness actually gets plugged in. This is directly behind the driver's side rear wheel. And as you can see, my concern is that there is nothing protecting this from weather, from elements, from anything just rolling up underneath here and hitting it. It's probably not a big concern, but it's a concern for me nevertheless. Dana said that she did talk with the parts rep at the dealership and the older versions of the Santa Fe, likely 2020 and older, actually came with a cover, but Hyundai has decided to eliminate it. So I'm going to see if I can fabricate a cover to actually go on this since they did leave the bolts up top that we may be able to utilize to have some form of protection. All right, the harness is a Kurt 56420. We'll put the link in the description box. All our grade eight hardware that comes with the hitch itself. And this hitch is the 13473. And once again, we'll put the link for that in the description box. Mounting locations for the hitch. You have two factory threaded holes here and you have a third factory threaded hole here on each side. So what that means is that the third hole on this side is actually right above the muffler. So all three hangers on the muffler will have to be removed or at least taken off in order to be able to drop the muffler enough to where the bolt can go up into that third hole. Oh joy. Instructions. Great. 
this little diagram of a hack if you don't have the muffler removal tool. I call BS to it because the doesn't work. So, you go old school with it. These are rubber hangers. All right, they are on the metal brackets. So just spray in some WD-40 or knock or loose, some type of lubricant in the rubber uh, that actually goes on the metal bracket and then use a solid either pry bar or a flat tip screwdriver and they will come off with very little effort I might add. So don't spend the money on a removal tool. You won't need it for this one. Remember kids, always torque your bolts. The instructions for Kurt say to torque this down to 60 foot pounds. So we've got our torque wrench. Muscle man doing the last bit of muscle. All right. All right, all our bolts are in, torqued down. The hangers for the exhaust is back in place. Only a few F-bombs were set. Yeah, only a few F-bombs were dropped. <laughs> and once again, when you're putting these hangers back onto the metal brackets, just spray a little bit of lube in there. You know, things don't slide very good when it's dry, but lube it up a little bit and it'll go right in. Ew! <laughs> the factory harness actually has a clip in cover. Take a flat tip screwdriver, pull this tab up just ever so slightly, then you're going to squeeze on both sides. Maybe. And pull that right off. New harness is only going to go in one way. Slide it in until you hear the audible click. Now on this harness you have this large module. It comes with double-sided sticky tape for here plus a self-tapping screw. Now there are no instructions as to where you should actually put this so you can use your own judgment on where you'd like it to go. But for us we have this brace that runs all the way across. Let's see if I can get a better angle on this. All right, better angle. So we got this brace. It is hollow plastic that runs all the way across. So what we're going to do is we're going to use both the sticky tape and the self-tapping screw and we're going to mount it right here so it's out of the way and it should hold it up there just fine sticky tape applied the double-sided tape sucks or maybe it's just the plastic parts on Hyundai don't work well with any damn kind of tape period but self-tapping screw that comes along with the harness we used it there on that little bracket it goes in it's holding up just fine fuse holder fuse comes along with it make sure you insert this in or it's not gonna worky you have a pretty good bit of slack in this portion of the cable so don't leave it just hanging out where it has access to all the elements the kit gives you some zip strips so right here, this bracket, you've got holes that go all the way through. 
So we're actually going to take the cable, run it up behind it, and then strip it up so that way it's protected. All right, went ahead and added one more strip to it as well and just tied it up to the brake light wires so it is completely tucked up and out of the way. All right, after we zip tied the wire harness to that frame piece, went ahead and ran the wires up over the module, up on top of the hitch, zip tied them on, and then all the way to the bracket. Now the bracket does not come with instructions on where to actually mount it to. I would prefer to avoid drilling into the plastic body of the car and finding something metal. So I used a titanium bit, drilled two holes into the hitch, then basically coated those two holes for protection, bolted them in with uh, threaded bolts as well as rubber washers. That should keep it protected for a while. This is very clean. It's not going to bend with the body. It's not going anywhere. So overall, a really, really clean, flush look. All right, jumping back over to this area, the one mod that I told Dana that I would be doing on this is to cover this up. So with some cardboard, made a little template. We're gonna utilize the bolts that we have up here. And I have some extra sheet metal left here in the shop that I'm gonna use this template and go ahead and make a cover. All right, our cover is done. Let's go ahead and see how it looks bolted on now. Damn, I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Just a regular old sheet metal cutter, bend it on the vise, and done. Now I feel a heck of a lot better about it not being exposed. Well, we really hope that this video has given you the confidence that you can tackle this job yourself, or at the very least, bribe someone with a good plate of dinner. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder who that is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know I didn't do any of the heavy lifting for this one. <laughs> but definitely a very welcome modification to our 22 Santa Fe. And one thing we didn't show on camera is actually us hooking it up to the trailer to test the lights. Uh, need to make sure we do that before we even leave the place. Absolutely. And everything works great. So could not be happier by the fitment, the way that it looks, the way that it works. And the price. Yes. And the price is damn good too. So until next week, thanks again for tuning in with us again. We certainly appreciate it. Stay safe. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye.